This video is brought to you by Sailrite. Have you ever played the game of cornhole? It's a lot of fun and it's catching on. In this video, we're going to show you how to make cornhole bags of your very own. The cornhole game requires eight bags, four each of two different colors. A ruler is being used to measure out a seven inch by seven inch square. We need eight squares per color. And then we're using a number two pencil to mark on the Picasso cotton duck fabric that we purchased from Sailrite. The Picasso cotton duck fabric from Sailrite is 58 inches wide. A one yard piece of Picasso fabric will accomplish 40 squares. That's 20 bags per yard. Simply use scissors to cut the fabric to the seven inch by seven inch square. After the squares are cut out, we're going to take it to the sewing machine and sew them up. We're going to use the deluxe magnetic guide here, and we're positioning it approximately a half inch away from the needle. There are two squares on top of each other, and notice we're starting about a half inch away from the opposite end of the fabric. When Angela gets to the corner, she'll bury her needle, lift her foot, roll the fabric around to make a 90 degree turn, and then continue to sew to the next corner. That magnetic guide will help aid us in keeping our stitch a half inch from the raw edge of the fabric. Stop sewing a half inch from the end of the fabric and leave this end completely open. So do some reversing there to lock the stitch in place. And now we just follow that same procedure for the remaining squares. Here we're sewing another two squares together. Sayerite recommends using a V69 polyester thread when sewing the Picasso cotton duck fabric. We're using a white color, however there are multiple colors available. The official rules for the cornhole game require a double stitch seam. So we're going to position the magnetic guide a little closer in to the needle. And sew around the outer perimeter again just as we did earlier. However, this stitch is approximately a quarter inch from the raw edge of the fabric. Same procedure, different location. This is an easy sewing project for almost any sewing machine. We're using the Sayerite Ultrafeed LS1 walking foot sewing machine to sew up these cornhole bags. Once you've stitched around the three sides of the bag, we can turn the bag right side out. The end of the bag that was left unsewn will actually fold those edges of the fabric in approximately a quarter inch. This will give a finished look when we're done sewing it shut. Then we'll take it to the sewing machine and we'll sew three quarters of that inch shut reversing at the beginning and the end. This stitch should be very close to the hemmed edge, approximately an eighth inch away. Do not sew past the three quarter position because we still have to fill these bags with the corn. We fashioned a funnel out of some scrap fabric and sewn the edges together. This is a nice way to make your own funnel uh, because we didn't have one here at Sayerite. Now we're going to fill each of the bags with approximately one and three quarter cup of the corn feed. The bag needs to weigh approximately 15 to 16 ounces according to the official rules. Once the corn is inside the bag, we can sew the remaining opening shut, reversing at the beginning and also reversing at that very corner. For about $20, you can make 40 bags. That's 20 in each color. That's all that's required to make a cornhole bag. For more free videos like this, be sure to check out Sayerite's website or subscribe to the Sayerite YouTube channel today. It's your loyal patronage to Sayerite that makes these free videos possible. Thanks for your support.